Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a simple C sharp program to add two numbers. Here, we will be asking the user to enter two numbers. Then uh, we will add those two numbers and we will display the result. I have already written some code. We are using the namespace system and then uh, we have created our own namespace called as example program. And inside that we have the class program and then we have the static void main method which is going to be the entry point of our program from our perspective. Now here, as I said before, we will be asking the user to enter two numbers. So we need a couple of variables to store the numbers entered by the user. And I'm going to declare my variable subtype integer and I'm going to name my first variable as num1 and my second variable as num2. Now here we need another variable to store the store the result of num1 plus num2 and I'm going to name that variable as result. Okay. Now the next thing that we do is we ask the user to enter the numbers. So we will display a message by using console dot right line method and the message will be enter number one and after seeing this message the user is going to enter a number and we need to read that number and we need to store that in this num1 variable we can read the user input by using console dot read line method and the problem with this is this read line method will read the input in string form here we want the input in integer form for example if the user is going to enter the number 10 then this console.readLine method will read that input as a string value so what we have to do is we have to convert that number which is in string form to integer form and we can do that by using convert dot to int 32 method and uh, we will pass in the console.readLine as the parameter for that. Now this statement will read the number entered by the user in string form and then it will convert that to integer form. Now we're going to save that in our num1 variable. So it will be num1 equal to and then this user input. Okay, now we have read the first number entered by the user. Similarly, we need to enter the second input. So I'm going to copy these two statements and I'm going to paste them here. And we will change this one to number two and we will store the second input in the num2 variable. Okay, now we have read two numbers from the user and we have stored them in the num1 and num2 variables. Now the next thing that we do is we will add the values which are inside the num1 and num2 variable and we will store the result of that in the result variable. So we will perform num1 plus num2. Here this plus is the addition operator which will add the values which are inside the num1 variable and the num2 variable and it will return the result. So we want to store that result in the result variable. So we do that by using this assignment operator. Okay. Now this result variable will contain the result of num1 plus num2. The next thing that we do is we will display the value uh, which is inside this result variable. We can do that by using console.writeLine method. And here I'm going to format the string as 0 plus 1 equal to 2 and here it will be num1 variable and then the num2 variable and then the result variable. Now it will display num1 plus num2 equal to result. Okay. Now after writing this, we need to add a pause to our program in the end so that we can see the output and we can do that by uh, using the console dot read key method. This read key method will wait for us to enter a key in the keyboard and hence it will act as a pause to our program. If you want, you can add a message here uh, by using the console.writeLine method and we will say press any key to exit. If you're curious about this one, then uh, just remove these two statements and uh, try out this program. Uh, you will see what happens and uh, why we need to use these two. 
okay now i'm gonna save this program and i'm gonna build and run this enter number one i'm gonna enter 64 enter number two i'm gonna enter 36 it says 64 plus 36 is equal to 100 and then it says press any key to exit which is the message that we have specified here and then if i press any key in my keyboard the program will terminate so this is how you guys can write a simple c sharp program to add two numbers now if you like this video then hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box and uh, for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.